New at 6, we are back on the road this week exploring more secrets of the desert. Yeah, tonight our crew travels to a ranch that's been around since the 1800s. News 3's Gerard Romalo is live in Death Valley again tonight. And Gerard, some people may not be aware that that ranch is open right now. Well, that's right, Jim. We're obviously at China Ranch, and yes, you're right. It is open to the public. It's a little off the beaten path, but certainly worth the trip. You can actually come out and explore the grounds and learn about the interesting history out here, a very unique place, and that's why we chose it as tonight's Secret in the Desert. Day three of our journey takes us to the southern region of Death Valley, pass through Shoshone and Tacopa, about 85 miles from Las Vegas, and you'll eventually arrive at China Ranch. Today, the ranch is technically more of a farm than anything else, and they only harvest one thing. We don't shake the whole trees, we shake the individual bundles. Brian Brown is the owner-operator of this unique date farm in the desert. If you have any questions at all about dates, he's your man. If you gather the male flowers and use a pollen, Efficiently, one male tree will produce enough pollen for 50 female trees. China Ranch got its name back in the late 1800s when a Chinese man named Ah Fu left work in the borax mines to harvest a dry lake bed. He grew fruits and vegetables and raised cattle to supply all the miners in the area. Legend says he was run off the land at gunpoint but the name Chinaman's Ranch stuck. So we're down in a canyon that's been carved in sediment that settled at the bottom of this ancient freshwater lake, and we're right sitting on top of a very shallow water table here. While most traditional crops have a hard time in the desert, Brian says conditions for dates are perfect. There's even a natural creek that flows through the area. He says the demand right now is much higher than what he can produce, up to 100,000 pounds per season. One thing he does hate about dates. Oh yeah, there are a thousand dumb date jokes, you know, and uh, you know, blind dates, cheap dates, blah blah blah. blah. Um, and uh, you still like dates? I do. I still eat dates. I do. Yeah. Aside from the harvesting, they also make about a dozen date-related items. Not the least of which are their famous date shakes. <laughs> China Ranch is a must-see stop if you're traveling through Death Valley. You can even bring a date. And I know some of you are probably wondering about these white sacks that actually cover the fruit. It turns out dates are like candy to coyotes, so this helps to protect them. In the taller trees, you'll see them as well, and that protects them from the birds. I'm also sure that many of you are wondering about shakes. I don't uh, exaggerate about these kinds of things. They are absolutely delicious. As my photographer Chris Jones would say, they are the bomb.com. But uh, we're at China Ranch, ChinaRanch.com. We're going to have more information on our website. Really, really worth the trip.